Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we'll be refactoring our book um, store application. And by refactoring, what I mean is that we're going to write, rewrite our code to um, be more easy to maintain. For example, if you look at my index.js file now, um, I'm currently having up to more than a hundred lines and if with time I need to have more routes that means with time I'm going to have hundreds if not thousands of lines of code in a single file and you can already imagine how messy that would be if I need to search out something or I need to improve on something so would refactor our code in order to be more tidy more readable and definitely easier to maintain and let's see how that goes so generally um, I'm going to introduce you to this folder structure so this folder structure is um, very common very commonly used in development um, in the root folder there's going to be a folder named source or src for short and in that folder you, we're going to have all um, subfolders and files that deal with the application directly so for example my index.js file is going to be inside of this source folder uh, I'm going to have a subfolder called controllers a subfolder called database a subfolder called models routes and there are, some, there are also some others like views um, tests um, config and a whole lot more that we can have um, services uh, middlewares um, utilities sorry utilities um, help just a lot they are just different ways of abstracting our code making it um, more readable more easy to maintain all right so but for now we're just going to be dealing with these folders controllers database models routes and index.js so um, We'll be splitting them into these folders and uh, refactoring it one after the other. Let me first explain what these folders are expected to do. The controller, controllers folder contains the functions, uh, functions in the, or rather, it contains the requests and response functions and what i mean is this um, if you look at our routes here for example the app dot post slash books the whole of this function right here is going to be in the controllers same thing we have here all of this would be in the controllers all right so that's what we would have in the controllers folder. Um, database just has to do with um, Mongoose setup and connection and database connection. Um, so that means that the whole of this here, mongoose.connect and all of this would be in the database folder then the models refer to mongoose schemas or whatever database schemas that you have so database schema and uh, let me also abstract this to be database setup and connection because in some cases you may not be using mongoose you may be using another database but you still want to have your database setup in that folder 
uh, so data database schema files and then your routes um, that's explanatory your application routes and your index.js file your entry file so we're going to rewrite our code to fit this format however before we begin i want us to install this package called nodemon um, nodemon helps us to restart our server automatically each time we save a file so instead of always having to stop my server here and restart it stop my server restart it once i install nodemon and i um, have it run inside of my projects directory each time i save a file it's going to restart my server automatically so there are two ways i can install it i can install it globally which means um, I, do in, I do not need to install it in every project. I just need to install it once and it will always be available for me to use in any project. Also, I can just install it in as a development dependency in my project. So I would um, use it this way for now in our current projects so first of all i'm just going to stop the server and install no daemon like this so this save dev um option here means it's going to save in packet.json but as a dev dependency so let me install that so you see how that looks And that's going to take some seconds to complete. All right, so the installation is complete. And if I head back to VS Code and I open my package.json file, you would see that I have in dev dependencies here, no demon. All right, so uh, if you would be installing it in your projects, you have to save it as a dev dependency um, that's the better way to install it you do not need to install it as a dependency in the project because it does not um, have anything to do with your project neither will it be used in a real production environment so so um to use it all i need to just do is no daemon or no daemon index.js or just no daemon and it's going to check for what file i have as um, entry file in my or rather as main file in my packet.json and then it's going to run this file all right so um i'm going to hold on with this for now okay well, let, let's run it so you see how it works I'm running no daemon and then you see it says starting no index.js and then the server is started and if I make any change to index.js say for example I take this part off the code and I save it you would see that it says restarting due to changes and then it starts off my server again so we do not need to come back to manually stop the server and restart again all right so let's get back to refactoring our code and let's start up with um, um moving our or rather creating our source folder um so we need to create the source folder and then inside of the source folder we have this subfolder here. so let's create the source folder first so source and then i'm going to move in the index.js file into the source folder and ensure that my server still runs correctly so i'm going to move this here yes move and all right now you can see there's an error because in packet.json it's looking for index.js but um, 
we have moved index.js to the source folder. So I'm going to head back to VS Code and change this main to source slash index.js. Or rather source slash index.js. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to restart by typing in RS and hitting enter. Okay, so I need to close it and restart. And then it's working correctly. All right, so I'm going to head back to uh, my VS code now. And now let's try to rewrite our code. All right, so let's start off with the Mongo setup. We're going to move all of this to another file. So let me just cut this out and create a new folder here called database. And inside of this, I'm just going to have a single file called um, setup.js and inside of setup.js I'm going to paste in what we um, copied from there and okay this needs to go back to index.js and so to complete this uh, we'll be using the modules module.exports to export uh, the connection of this database. So what we're going to do is going to be like this. Um, module.exports equals function. And what we want that function to do is just to creates or rather to connect our database so once this function runs the database connection will be done all right so now we've exported it in the module and now we, qu we can require it in the index.js file so i can just have one line that says uh set up mongoose and i'll just say const db setup equals require now i'm going to require the setup file inside database um, the database folder so dot slash database since they are in the same directory slash setup so what um, db setup is now as you can see is a function if i log this to the database you will see console.log db setup so you see what it brings and let's see what it is here okay we have an error um let's comment or let's cuts all of this out okay we're going to have multiple errors so let's just see const mongoose equals require mongoose and let's just leave this for now all right all right so it says function anonymous so you can see that db setup here is the function that we exported from here all right so what we just need to do to make the database connection complete you can see it does not give us that log here that the database connection is successful and that is because the function it's not yet called yet so i'm just going to say database setup and that will be it. 
and I'm going to cons um, save and then check up my terminal again and now you can see that database connection is successful all right so this function has been exported and it has been required in the index.js file and then the function has been called okay so next um, let's head on to our schema and that is all of this so I'm going to cut this off and remember our schema is going to be in inside of the models folder so I'm going to create a new folder inside the source called models and create a new file so each file I have in the models folder will represent each new schema I have so this time we're dealing with the book schema so I'm going to have book.js and I'm going to paste what I have there here and I'm going to save this all right so the next thing you want to think about is how does this schema become usable outside this um, file so to make it usable outside this file we we'll do the same thing we export uh, the book variable here and the reason we are exporting the book variable here is because if, it, if you look at the index.js file the part of it that we used in all of the routes is the book which is the modeled schema book here so all we need to do here is say module dot exports equals book and I'm going to save this and then in index.js uh, I'm going to say setup schema and if I require it like same const book equals require um, dot slash models slash book you would see that uh, we will no longer have any errors here as you can see the code runs correctly all right so this is how our schema is going to look like and then we're going to export the modeled schema as a variable here we're going to export that variable all right so i'm going to save this and okay so now we can move on to the routes all right so the routes seems to be the last thing to do yes so i'm going to pick all of the routes here all of the routes and cut this off and now you can see that my uh, index.js file looks much more neat and readable and uh, well set up so I'm going to head over to routes folder. I'm going to create a folder called routes. Routes. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a file called, uh, let's just call it routes or rather book routes dot js and here I'm going to paste in everything we copied from that place here okay so to make this work um, we're going to use um, a method in Express called the router So it works like this. I'm going to require express, require express, 
and then I'm going to call uh, const router equals express dot router and you can see it tells me it's an instance of the router so the way this works is that instead of using the app dot post and app dot get i'm just going to use router dot post and router dot get and router dot put and router dot delete and so i'm going to export the router and then i'm going to use it in the index.js file so let me show you how that works so i'm going to select everywhere i have app dots and just replace it with router dots you can see it works almost the same way as the app dots all right so um and that is just all i'm going to do router dot delete and i'm just going to say here module dot exports equals router and that is all i'm going to save this then to make this work finally so i'm going to head back to index.js and i'm going to require my routes uh, so I can take off this. We don't need this here anymore. Let me name this to setup DB. And then I can say, um, const routes. Let me just say all routes equals require and that will be dot slash routes slash book routes okay for now this can be all routes or let's just call it book routes instead since we could also have other routes in it and i'm going to move these two lines to the top of to line four here. And then we have a cleaner setup here. And all I need to make those routes work is app does use and book routes. And that's all. All right, so I'm going to save this and let's see if there are any errors, no errors. Now let's check if our routes still work. Um, let's try to delete. Okay, so there is an error. Book is not defined. Okay, so let's go back to our routes. Mm book routes all right so we have book not defined so what i need to do is const book equals require dot slash models oh, sorry that should be dot dot slash models slash book I'm going to save this and that should be um, that should resolve it okay so now it works correctly if I try the post requests and try that all right so that works correctly okay so um, finally we could make this even more appealing by taking off the um, functions here and naming them to uh, naming them as functions and placing them in the con um, controllers folder so i'm going to create a new folder here called
controllers and inside here I'm just going to have a single file called book controllers like I mentioned earlier this should be book controllers dot js as I mentioned earlier the controllers are the file um, functions that handle the requests and responses so what that means is that the whole of this function um, can be abstracted to be a controller so what I will do here is to say exports dot create new book equals function so I'm just going to take all of this here and copy this and then paste it here and close the function here all right so this is just how it's going to be and I'm going to have another one exports dot fetch books equals um, going to copy these two let's copy this and paste it here and close okay and then the next one will be fetch I have fetch all books which is for the get request now let's have fetch single book which is for the get slash book slash id and i'm going to copy all of this um that will be from here up here uh, so i'm going to have exports dot fetch single book equals this okay and next one will be to update router dot put so i'm going to have all of this from here down here and i'm going to just say exports dot updates single book be equal to this and then lastly delete exports dot delete single book will be equal to the whole of this up to this point so this so I can save this now and then I have all of these functions as exports which I can require in the routes and just use single lines of code in my routes file here so that will look like this uh, cons so I can also take this off here and have it here where it's needed and then I can say const um, book controller equals require I'm going to require the controllers file slash book controllers and then I can if I put my mouse over book controller you can see uh, it's an import let me save this and let me log this to the console so you see what it is you can see it contains um, five functions is an object that has five uh, elements in it and so we can now pick each of it and attach it to our routes so I'm going to head back to VS Code 
and take this line off so instead of router that router dot post and all of this i will just have one single line that says router dot post slash books and book controller dot create new book and that's all and you see it's a function just the same function we exported from here and I can repeat this for all of my route functions here so here this will be book controller dot fetch books this will be book controller dot update single sorry this is going to be fetch single book um this would be book controller dot update single book and lastly this one will be book controller dot delete single book all right now you can see how neat our code looks now and now we know where to look for if there are any issues we know that if the issue is with the function we know we just need to look here um if it's with the database connection we need to look here if it's with if it is with the schema we need to look here if it is with the routes we need to look here okay so let's check our routes again and be sure everything works fine okay so everything works fine um gets okay so we're good all right so i hope um you've been able to understand how to um structure your folders in a modular way such that you do not have to write everything in index.js you can split your functions and your code into different files and folders to have um, a neat setup and something you can easily maintain and scale so um, in subsequent lessons would we'll continue with this setup and learn some other things too see you in the next lesson